Welcome, travel advisors. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we're actually starting a new season here called Up Close. This uh, this a season of webinars uh, will be basically presented by your business development managers and also your Carnival Independent Agent team. So again, we just can't wait to kick off this brand new series. And today, as you can tell by the ship behind me, we are in New Orleans. So welcome travel advisors to New Orleans up close. My name is Maria Cobb and I'm the business development manager based right here in Louisiana. And I have with me today a super special guest, Tu Tran, who is with our New Orleans and company. Hey, Tu, thanks again for being here today. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic over to you so you can introduce yourself to our group of agents here. Tell them a little bit about New Orleans and company and um, how you support the travel advisors in your role within the organization. So over to you, Tu. Sure. Hey, y'all from New Orleans. Thanks so much for joining in. I am excited to be here and present Destination New Orleans to you guys. Maria, thanks to you to, and your team at Carnival Cruise Lines for making this happen. We really appreciate your partnership. As Maria mentioned, my name is Tu Tran, and I am with New Orleans and Company. New Orleans and Company is the official DMO or Destination Marketing Organization for the city of New Orleans. After Maria's presentation, I will cover why visit New Orleans, especially before or after your client's cruise, and also cover some free tools, resources, and support that New Orleans and Company offers to travel advisors when selling New Orleans. Awesome. That's fantastic. Thank you much. Thank you so much, too. And again, we're just so excited to hear all of the tips and tricks that you have to share with our team today. So um, one thing that I did want to mention as well, thanks to Tu and her team at New Orleans and Company, we have a very sweet surprise that we will be raffling off at the end of today's presentation. So travel advisors, I encourage you all to stay tuned through the very end to see who that lucky winner will be. All right, so let's just hop on in here. I'm going to get started with just a sort of a brief recap of what we have to offer here in New Orleans as far as our carnival product, our ships, our destinations, and what makes sailing out of New Orleans so special. So again, travel advisors, we're so excited to be able to announce the fact that we are back and cruising out of New Orleans is better than ever. We not only have one, but two ships that now sail once again year round from the city. So we actually have a very long standing partnership with the city of New Orleans. Uh, many of you have been selling our ships from New Orleans for a very long time, but we have actually been sailing year round out of New Orleans for over 25 years, since 1994. Um, we are the number one cruise operator in the city. And with our two Conquest class ships, we sail over 400,000 guests annually out of the beautiful city of New Orleans. So I just wanted to share that information with all of you so you know a little bit about our relationship with the city. Um, and then also I wanted to share a st some statistics that John Heald, our brand ambassador, had shared this week actually on one of his Facebook posts. So, you know, our Carnival Glory is one of the ships that we have sailing year round from New Orleans. She set sail this past Sunday, and he actually shared some pretty eye opening numbers about who we specifically have sailing with us this week. So, out of 2,000 guests that we currently have sailing on the Glory, guess how many of those VIFPs are blue card holders? So travel advisors, our blue card holders are those guests that are cruise rookies. They are brand new to cruising and cruising on Carnival. 650 of those guests that are sailing this week on Glory 
are blue card holders. So I just wanted to share that with all of you because as travel advisors, especially selling cruises in this current climate, it's important to recognize that it's not just the platinum and diamond and very seasoned cruisers that have returned. It's everybody. So when you think about positioning a wonderful cruise vacation experience to your clients, you may wonder, who do I present this opportunity to? The answer is to absolutely anybody who feels comfortable traveling right now. Okay, so just wanted to share those fun facts uh, for all of you. Also, Cruising out of New, we New Orleans is very, very convenient. We have a phenomenal terminal here in New Orleans. We sail out of the Arado Street Terminal, which is conveniently positioned right between Mardi Gras World. And then also we have the Riverwalk Outlet Mall, Aquarium of the Americas. Our parking at the terminal facilities is ample. We have actually uh, over a thousand parking spots that are available. So it's not one of those ports where we ever run out of available spaces. And right when you drive up the ramp, you will be greeted by a porter, will take your luggage, will deliver it right to the ship for you. You go down to the second floor of that parking garage and you are in the terminal and it's time to check in for your super fun cruise vacation. So again, cruising out of New Orleans is back and it is so, so convenient for your clients as well with our fabulous terminal facility facilities. So the two ships that we have here in New Orleans, we have our Carnival Glory and our Carnival Valor. Our Carnival Glory is, uh, as you can see here, she's looking fabulous. She actually has that beautiful new red, white, and blue hull design. She was one of the first ships that got this upgraded hull design, and this is meant to pay homage to the maritime industry and also our legacy as America's cruise line. So again, Carnival Glory had her restart back in September, and we carry thousands of happy guests out of the city uh, for the first time in over a year and a half. So we are so excited to have her back. Her itineraries, well, she is our seven-day cruise ship primarily. She sets sail every Sunday to Sunday, going to mainly Western Caribbean. So those are ports like Cozumel, uh, Belize. We go to Roatan Island, which is on an island off the coast of Honduras. It's one of our private destinations and very popular. We're also slowly but surely getting Montego Bay, Jamaica, and also Grand Cayman um, back online soon. And then we do have a few, about half a dozen Bahamas itineraries as well. So if your clients are interested in something a little different out of New Orleans, going to uh, Freeport and Nassau, Bahamas, we do have those options as well between now through spring of next year. And then there are two 14-day carnival journeys, which are on the map. One is uh, sailing this November, and the second one is December of 2023. These are gorgeous itineraries. And again, just come on down to New Orleans, and this is a round trip, New Orleans to New Orleans departure. They're 14 days in length, and they visit Montego Bay, Aruba, Bonaire, Cartagena, Panama Canal partial transit, which is great. If your clients have ever wanted to experience cruising through the Panama Canal, this is an awesome opportunity. Limon, Costa Rica, Cozumel, and then back to New Orleans. So again, keep those two itineraries on your radar for the glory. And then of course, our second ship, she is a sister to the Carnival uh, Glory Carnival Valor. She's our short cruise ship. So that means that she does our shorter itineraries four days and five days. Four days are great for your clients looking for a long weekend getaway because it sets sail on a Thursday morning. You come back into the city on Monday morning. You can even get back to work that day. Um, those four days go to Cozumel and back. And then the five day visit Cozumel and then also either Progresso or Costa Maya. And those depart either on Monday or on Saturday. So again, both ships are sister ships. If you've been on one, then you'll feel right at home on the other. So travel advisors, you all know that unmistakable feeling when you choose fun on Carnival, right? So it's time to talk just a little bit about how you and your clients can get thunderstruck when sailing on a ship from New Orleans. Just wanted to highlight a couple of the spaces that make these two ships kind of unique. 
This is a picture of our upgraded waterworks area on Carnival Glory. She got this upgrade just a couple years ago. We added an additional twister water slide and also a power drench bucket, which is really fun. And then, of course, both ships feature exciting nightlife, whether it's catching a show in our main show lounge, playlist productions, or singing to karaoke, or maybe checking out a comedian in our punchline or comedy club. There is tons of fun everywhere you look on both ships. So speaking of fun, on the Carnival Valor, we have a Red Frog Pub, which is a great Caribbean design space. It's right on deck five promenade, great place to grab your favorite rum-based cocktail or maybe a Thirsty Frog Red beer. And sometimes we even have live music in this spot. Again, it's right on deck five promenade. On the Glory, this space on promenade is actually utilized for our Club O2, our teen club. But on Valor, we move the teen club down to deck four, and we have this super fun Red Frog pub there on deck five. And then, of course, if you're coming to the city of New Orleans, you've got to bring your appetite. Don't leave it at home, folks. Um, so again, plenty of options to choose on both ships. Lido Deck Casual, you have your formal dining room as well. 24-7 pizzeria. Guys, burger joint, Blue Iguana Cantina. But just to wrap up, I wanted to highlight Seafood Shack which is available on some carnival ships, is available on both of our ships from New Orleans. And you know, uh, we love our seafood down here. Now this is a Northeastern style seafood restaurant. It's a la carte, so you and your clients just order off of a menu. And we serve up things like lobster rolls, which is one of my favorites, oysters, clam chowder, uh, crab legs, you name it, and we've got it right here on Seafood Shack. So again, hopefully uh, that gave you some great tips when selling our ships and destinations here out in New Orleans. So with that said, I'm going to pass the mic over to two, and I'd love to hear more about the resources that you have to share with our advisors, and then also all the super fun things to do in the city of New Orleans. So back to you, two. Hey, y'all, hey, back again. So thank you, Maria. The ships look amazing. We're so proud to have Carnival sail from New Orleans year round. And um, we are here to be of, of support and a resource to you and the travel advisors um, if you need help selling the city of New Orleans. It's such a great, unique destination to promote a pre or post cruise stay. Um, and here are some of the reasons why New Orleans itself is such a unique city full of culture and fascinating traditions. We really credit this to our um, residents that settled here since the 1700s and held on tight to their way of life. Um, today, influences from the French, the Spanish, Creoles, Acadians, Africans, Haitians, Sicilians, and many more. They're prominent all over our city in our hotels, our architecture, our restaurants, music, entire neighborhoods. And the Port of New Orleans is in such a great location here in New Orleans. It's right downtown. Um, pretty much everything to see and do in downtown New Orleans is within a three mile radius, which makes us a really amazing walkable city. And you can get to so many different places in a short amount of time, and in, which makes it a perfect start or ending to your client's cruise vacation. This here is a travel portal that's dedicated to travel advisors. You can find this on our main website, neworleans.com, and there's a section just for travel professionals. Definitely save this to your desktop. It has a lot of information. I'm gonna highlight some of our initiatives here um, that you can find to help you with our city. I'm going to start off with a sample itinerary I share really often because we get that question uh, from advisors or from the clients who's never been to New Orleans who's, or who's never cruised from New Orleans. What can I do if I stay a day before or after the cruise? So here's a really great start itinerary for a first time visitor. Um, start off with a city tour. I always recommend that. You get to really uncover these really unique and fascinating neighborhoods around the French Quarter and bookmark it for a return stay. 
lunch at iconic restaurants like Two Jacks or Quarter Two Sisters in the French Quarter um, is always a must. And when you're in the French Quarter, I highly recommend walking through the French Quarter. It is our 13 block by six block district and home to some of the oldest bars, family run restaurants, unique shops, or you can enjoy some really amazing pop-up performances. Our museums are a wonderful reason to visit New Orleans. The World War II Museum is spectacular. We have the Louisiana State Museums that focus on Louisiana history and the historic New Orleans collection, which is a new addition to the city. Uh, it's only a few years old and they focus on French Quarter history, really beautiful space. And then always, you know, Maria mentioned our amazing restaurants. We have so many to choose from, so definitely choose an iconic one like Mr. B's, Revolution, Antoine's. Um, our award-winning restaurants is one of the main reasons why New Orleans is so loved. We are really a food lover's paradise. And then you have to have music. You know, we're really, really known for our music. We always recommend um, you know, a low lit jazz bar, or, you know, you're looking for something more fun. You can dance uh, off a balcony overlooking Bourbon Street, sing karaoke. Um, here in New Orleans, the music just fills the air in our streets and it's such a wonderful experience. And this is a another itinerary for a longer visit or a return visitor. We chose some really off the beaten path experiences and new additions to the city, such as Jam Nola, which is a 12 room exhibit celebrating the iconic art, music and food of New Orleans through the eyes of 20 local lead artists. And it added some really amazing restaurants. Um, uh, such as Costera, which is a Spanish tapas style restaurant located uptown New Orleans. It's an amazing restaurant. I highly recommend it. And if those itineraries don't suit your needs, we have a whole library of itineraries, guys. And here's, you're going to find it right here on our website. I think we're over 20 itineraries designed by specific interest. We have a, one for a family, adventure seekers, or even a rainy day itinerary. We truly try to think about every type of visitor and what benefits they have when they're here in the city. When your clients are in New Orleans, be sure to check our festivals calendar. We host over 100 festivals here in the city annually. Festivals are really my favorite thing to do in New Orleans. We take our festivals pretty seriously. We want to see all smiling faces, the food, the music. It's really a perfect way to take part in the local culture here in New Orleans. Here are a few tools to help you encourage a stay in New Orleans before or after cruising. Um, this is a really popular one. We continue to partner with local hotels and gather commissionable pre or post cruise packages for travel advisors to offer to their clients. These um, hotels listed now are active for 2022. Most popular hotel offers are the Holiday Inn Downtown Superdome and Wyndham French Quarter. These hotels offer parking for the duration of your client's stay with a one night stay. So it's such a great deal. And the rest of these hotels, they may not be able to offer parking, but they have deals such as a welcome cocktail or a comp upgrade. Um, and it's all commissionable to you guys, which is one of the requirements when they're able to offer these offers. We also run a cruise coupon program. These have exclusive offers from restaurants and attractions for cruise passengers. We can provide these to you guys in digital or print form. And just wanted to show you a snapshot of the offers that we have right now live. It's some really amazing deals. Definitely check it out when you have a chance and show it to your clients. For travel advisors visiting New Orleans, we have a VIP pass program. So these offers are exclusive to travel advisors from our partners. Um, so you can explore New Orleans at your own pace. We also have a itinerary designed around these offers if you want to use us as an option. Um, so if you're ever in New Orleans or planning to visit New Orleans, definitely um, request for one so we can get that over to you so you can take advantage of these offers. 
groups. We can definitely help with groups. Actually, another major market of mine is domestic tour and travel groups. So if you are needing help with 10 or more guest rooms in the city, we can circulate a request to hotel, restaurant, attraction partners, and as they send you group proposals for review and consideration. We can also help you connect with local tour operators or creating or designing an itinerary or program for your client. This is all at no cost to you. We also have seven unique uh, online certification courses. These you can access at any time and take at your own pace. We really put a lot of thought into these courses um, and, and try to cover um, everything that you may be asked or your client is asked of you. Um, also know I'm also a phone call an email away. So if you guys have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out. And these courses, definitely check it out. You can take it at your own pace. It's a lot at one time. So try to, you know, tread lightly because I don't think you can cover it all in one day. It's a lot of content. But one of my favorite sections of the certification courses is this really amazing Mardi Gras survival guide. So our intention when writing this piece is through the eyes of a local. It's actually you know, we just rewrote it for 2022. If you guys need a copy of it, let me know. I can send that to you in a PDF or you can access it through the certification courses. Back to you, Maria. Awesome. Those are some really great resources too. I love it. And the Mardi Gras 2022 survival guide. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to need to reach out to you for that uh, this year. That's so fun. I love it. Love it. Love it. And those resources are great. I can definitely attest to the partnership of New Orleans and Company and specifically how helpful too has been throughout the years in this market. Um, she helped me with putting together a uh, Gulf Coast fam. We hosted a group of, I think we had over 200 travel advisors that visited the city and we did some presentations and ship tours and um, some really fun activities uh, throughout their stay. And two was just instrumental in helping me put that together, reaching out to hotels and getting block rooms. So when two says, reach out to me for help, I'm telling you, she's there for you and uh, has just been such a great resource for our travel advisors. So we definitely want to thank you for that. Um, and also, I do have one more question because I think you addressed the specific resources that you have that travel agents can go can go back to. Again, if you're newer in selling the city, all of those resources, as to mentioned, are all right online on New Orleans and Company's website. So again, utilize those resources, especially when you are focusing on selling that pre. Uh, that pre and post trip, I think too is going back to um, to pull up that website because some of you were were asking. So let's think. She's going to pull up here on the screen, so you will have that for your future occasions. And again, I just love the fact that there are those sample itineraries. Oh, here we go. The travel professional portal. Perfect. Thank you so much. So go ahead, take a screenshot of that travel advisors or jot it down. So you'll have that for your future reference. Um, so I did have one more question for you here uh, to, when it comes to selling New Orleans, again, travel advisors have so many different options and there's just so much uh, that, you know, so many questions that they might have when it comes to selling a particular city. What are some uh, additional things that travel advisors might be able to come to you for when it comes to selling the city? Everything. I get questions, emails, calls. I'd love to hear from you guys. I mean, because that's really the purpose of my existence is, is to be of support to you and what your needs are, you know, whether it's an individual or groups, um, know that, you know, this is not your only stop. You know, if you need questions, you know, beyond that, definitely reach out to me. I can try to help you and connect you with our partners the best way we can. 
Awesome. Awesome. And I love the fact that you shared uh, the resources for the different uh, groups and festivals that specifically the festivals that are going on in New Orleans. As you, you might have heard us mention a couple of times, we're now in Mardi Gras season here in Louisiana and throughout the Gulf Coast. I know that uh, there's other there's plenty of other cities, uh, Mobile, of course, that has a rich culture and history, too, uh, in celebrating Mardi Gras. So um, regardless of the season, that you are sending your cruisers down here to the city, check out this list of festivals. And again, when you're sending them to the city, let them know about the different celebrations that might be happening just so that they can get excited and kind of know what to expect when they are here in town. And again, as you can see, there's plenty for your family cruisers, your guests that are traveling with family and friends, and of course, even your first time cruisers. And I love the fact that, you know, New Orleans is a food lover's paradise. <laughs> food is definitely one of the things that I enjoy most when I'm sailing on Carnival, and I'm sure you and your clients do as well. So again, make sure that they don't miss out on those awesome opportunities when they are spending a little extra time before and after their cruise. And that court of two sisters for brunch if your guests get a chance, that's definitely a must do, as well as getting beignets in Cafe du Monde, for sure. So I love those tips that you share, too. And now I do have another very important question for you. And that question, too, is what is your favorite flavor of king cake? I just like plain king cake. I mean, I love <laughs> the frostings and the fillings, too but just a cinnamon brioche king cake that does it for me. And I think I'm on my fourth king cake since Mardi Gras started. So oh. I can't stop. <laughs> and we have so many different varieties here and it's so not, we get so naughty with it because it's, we can't eat a meal without a king cake during Mardi Gras. Right, right. Well, it sounds too like I have some catching up to do um, because I have only had a few slices. I have not gotten to four king cakes yet this Mardi Gras season. Um, and just a quick recap on what Mardi Gras season is all about. Uh, it starts off on January 6th each year, Day of the Epiphany, and it ends on Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras, which um, that date can vary year to year. This year, Mardi Gras is on March the 1st. So between now and then, there will be lots of king cake that will be enjoyed and of course tons of parties and balls and parades which are officially back this year we're so excited about that so speaking of king cake thanks to our uh wonderful partner new orleans and company and two for providing a delicious treat for all of our well I, I i wish i could say all of our guests but for one lucky guest i am actually going to uh go over here to my slide and we're going to pull the name for our lucky winner of the king cake so let's see we are giving away a delicious king cake here um, and stay tuned because we are going to address a couple questions in just a moment, but want to announce our winner for the King Cake Raffle is, drum roll please, Miss Autumn Trussell. Yay. Autumn, enjoy that delicious King Cake. It'll be provided by two. All you have to do is just go ahead and send us your information. You can email us your mailing address also provide a phone number if you can, just in case, and send that email right over to us to our CIA team at carnival.com mailing address. We'll send that information over to you, and she is going to send that king cake right your way. And you know, the tradition is have your family, friends, neighbors come over and enjoy that king cake with you, and whoever gets the baby in their slice has to uh, provide the king cake for the next party. So again, enjoy every bite. If you need any help eating that, I am happy to attend <laughs> your party. <laughs> and uh, again, I just want to give a big 
Uh, thank you to two for coming on the call today and sharing this amazing information with all of our travel advisors. Again, we couldn't do what we do without um, you know, our, our partners, such as you all over at New Orleans and Company. And then of course, without our awesome travel advisors. So on behalf of myself and all of your family here at Carnival, of course, your Carnival Independent Advisor Team, I just wanna thank you all for tuning in. And uh, again, thank you so much too for joining us on this call, sharing all those awesome resources. I know that these advisors learned a lot and will be selling even more cruises out of New Orleans in the near future. So again, happy new year, everyone. Happy Mardi Gras season 2022, and um, thanks again for joining us. Travel Advisors Rock!